Welcome to part 6 of refurbishing a vintage model steamboat. This is finishing the condenser oil trap and shortening the propeller shaft. After silver soldering the condenser end plates and bush, it looked a bit of a mess, so I put it overnight in my pickle bath. I used something called Kill Rock K, which is a kettle descaler. It's not as powerful as sulfuric acid, but it does the trick. And after a quick polish on my polishing spindle wheel, I'm finishing it off with some Brasso. In this clip I'm using an old t-shirt or part of an old t-shirt to just finish off the polishing process. Time now to put the fittings in place. Two fittings are required, an inlet and an outlet. One of them is the condensate drain and the other one is the exhaust inlet from the engine. The condenser oil traps that I normally make that I sell commercially look like this. I sell quite a few of these worldwide. The handmade, not mass produced. But my normal style of condenser design was entirely wrong for this boat, hence the horizontal cylindrical type. I now need to make a couple of mounting brackets. The bracket with the large hole in, as well as the central hole, is to clear the condensate outlet fitting like this. A viewer wrote in and asked me why did I not use brass tube for a boiler barrel or a pressure vessel? And as far as I'm aware, the reason for this is that brass is unsuitable for high pressure and high temperatures and is likely to de-zincify, i.e. lose some of its zinc content and become brittle. I have actually observed this in brass fittings in copper boilers. Often, when you undo them after they've been in the boiler for a long time, they will just shear off because they become brittle with age. This problem does not seem to occur with small steam toys because they run at a much lower pressure and a much lower temperature. On screen at the moment is an adapter that I made. It's a 3 8 by 32 to 5 16 by 32 because originally I made the bush 5 16 by 32 and the reason for this is I forgot that it uses quarter piping on the chimney and from the exhaust of the engine so we'll also have to make an adapter for the exhaust inlet. If you have a look back at the photograph of the condensers that I make and sell you will notice there is a steam tap on top of the condenser this is the condensate drain and I would normally put these on the condenser itself but in this case I want to remotely mount it because it's not convenient to have the tap on the condenser owing to the fact it's going to be near a very powerful heat source i.e. the boiler. Now I was going to put this on the centre line but it's looking increasingly more like it needs to be at one side of the boiler and I'd like to thank the gentleman who took the time to write in and suggest that I use two tanks one either side of the boiler but I'm a little bit concerned about the weight, so what I'm going to do is counterbalance the condenser with the hand pump that may be the next size up from this, and the steam tap and the associated plumbing. Over now to the propeller shaft, I gave it another coat of paint so it's really blathering paint, and when this had dried, I fitted it into the boat. And here it is. The block is held in place with four brass screws, and the whole assembly is very secure. So it's getting near to the time to bolt the engine in place. But before that I'm going to put the entire boat in my bath to make sure there are no leaks. That's it for now, thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful.